Overnight, in her first extensive interview since President Biden dropped out of the race, Vice President Kamala Harris defending some of her shifting policy positions since she last ran for the White House in 2019. I think the, the, the most important and most significant aspect of my policy perspective and decisions is my values have not changed. On immigration, she was pressed about a 2019 primary debate where she raised her hand when asked whether the border should be decriminalized. Do you still believe that? I believe there should be consequence. We have laws that have to be followed and enforced that address and deal with people who cross our border illegally. She was also asked about her past positions on banning fracking. There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. Joe Biden will not ban fracking. I would not ban fracking. As vice president, I did not ban fracking. As president, I will not ban fracking. Harris, who also rallied supporters in Savannah, Georgia, is touting proposals to extend the child tax credit and give $25,000 in down payment assistance to first-time home buyers. So why didn't she take those steps during her first three and a half years in office? Well, first of all, we had to recover as an economy, and we have done that. I'm very proud of the work that we have done that has brought inflation down to less than 3 percent. She also brushed off former President Trump questioning her racial identity last month. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black. Same old tired playbook. Next question, please. <laughs> Harris's running mate, Governor Tim Walz, saying he misspoke when he said he carried weapons in war during his time in the Army National Guard, despite never being deployed in combat. Yeah, I said we were talking about, in this case, this was after a school shooting, the ideas of carrying these weapons of war. And uh, my wife, the English teacher, told my grammar is not always correct. Harris also describing for the first time publicly how she found out President Biden was dropping out of the race. The phone rang and it was Joe Biden. And um, and he told me what he had decided to do. And um, I asked him, are you sure? And he said, yes. Harris says that if she's elected, she'd appoint a Republican to her cabinet because she wants to have different views at the table. Overnight, former President Trump responded to the interview on social media, writing that it was boring and that Harris rambled incoherently. Greg. Gabe Gutierrez from the White House there. Gabe, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.